Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some pairs of circles on the grid today. That's got to have something to do with our theme. Let's start with one across, part of a wooden bench. Hmm, I want that to be a slat. Yeah, it would be a slat of wood. Michelin rating unit. Yeah, that's going to be a star. Princess with a cinnamon buns hairstyle. That's the classic hairstyle worn by Princess Leia. Highway to Hell rockers. I believe that's ACDC, isn't it? And a river that Albany and Poughkeepsie are on. Ooh, um, I should really know this. This is kind of my neck of the woods. Is it the Hudson? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to have that the in front of it, but that fits very nicely. Let's just double check that that's right. Georgia Tech, Atlanta School, that's correct. And Aid is a helper. Yeah, those both look good. I think the Hudson might be right. Let's see if this H is correct. Blank Ray, Celebrity Chef. Yeah, that's Rachel Ray, right? Um, hmm. How does she spell her name? Is it with an E at the end or two L's? Interesting. I'm not sure about this one. Well, hopefully we can get it on crosses. Santa blank handicap. Seabiscuit's last race. Ooh, I'm definitely not going to know this one. Relent. Hmm. I would really want it to be give up. Hmm. Could this be an E? I guess it's possible. Is this a G? Recovered from being knocked to the floor. Is it just going to be got up? Hmm. Let's see if we can confirm that. Where to find edible ants. And this is wordplay. So what you have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. So this is not actually going to be about eating ants, the animals. I think this is going to be about the snack ants on a log. Yeah, that celery with peanut butter and raisins. So I think this is going to be on a log. Very nice. I like that punny clue there. Um, I guess this could be Rachel with two L's. It looks a little strange to me. Choose as a running mate. That's got to be tap. Yeah, she tapped them for the position. Card game with a spin-off called Dos. <laughs> I gotta imagine that's Uno. I've never heard of Dos before. Is there twice as many cards? Win over. Hmm. I guess it could be Persuade? I think that would fit, wouldn't it? Persuade. Yeah, that's a pretty good answer. Silly. Yeah, that's gonna be inane. Hmm. I really do think this is going to be given. Let's take out this part of Rachel. Um, hmm. What in the world is going to go here? <laughs> this is so strange. What is this one? Payment by many a factory worker. This is probably going to be union dues, right? If you belong to a union. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to get this. Is this an A? I guess it could be. Let's try and get the rest of this on crosses. Um, you know what, actually, let's finish off this corner here. We've got the whole first part filled out already. What follows a plane going from Richmond to Chicago? This is very interesting. My first thought whenever I see pairs of letters in a theme is always state codes. And I think that's maybe what we're dealing with today because Richmond is in Virginia, right? And Chicago is going to be in Illinois. And then this could be a vapor trail, right? That would follow a plane. That's very cool. Okay, so maybe these are going to be phrases that are bookended by state codes. I really like that idea. And we're going to be clued into what states are hiding in the answer by the cities that are in the clues. 
Very nice. All right, let's finish off this corner. Part of a wedding cake. It seems like that should be a tier. So we have Arkansas here, right? I think that's AR. What do we have here? Tax filing status. That could be single, right? Yeah. Obtains through hard work. That's gotta be earns as you would a paycheck. Force an aircraft must overcome. It's looking like that's gonna be drag. Word after door or before polish. Doornail, nail polish. Yeah, those are both things. And qualified. That should be able, I think. So this is Edna, woman's name hidden inside, assumed name. There's Edna right there, that's kind of funny. And this should be Arab, Arab Spring, uprisings of the early 2010s. Yes, I remember that. All right, so let's take a look at our next theme answer. We're thinking this should end in Arkansas, right? Part of a plane traveling from New Orleans to Little Rock are these phrases all going to be about airplanes? That would be crazy. That would make this theme so much harder to construct. That would be really impressive if that's the case. Uh, okay, so New Orleans is in Louisiana. Uh, I guess it's going to be landing gear. Wow, if these are all about airplanes, I'm going to be blown away. That's kind of incredible if you could make that work. Blank Adam. I think this should be let me Adam, right? Practice makes perfect or haste makes waste. Those would both be an example of an adage. Boys in Bolivia. That should be niños, right? That's boys in Spanish. Ooh, these are looking a little weird. What makes clay clammy? And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not talking about clay that you might find on a riverbank? Hmm. I don't know. I think adage has to be wrong though, right? What is this? Share one seat. <laughs> this is more wordplay. Okay, so this is not letting someone sit next to you on a park bench. Yeah, I think this is showing someone your seat or your rear end. That would be moon, right? That's very funny. I really like that clue. Ancient inhabitants of Crete. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if I know this one. Be real. Is that going to be exist? Nice. Okay, so this is going to be an axiom, not an adage. And this is M's. Oh man, this is super clever. They're being very literal here. They're asking what would transform the word clay into the word clammy. It would be the addition of two M's. Very, very nice. Um, I still have no idea about this. I think this has to be Anita probably, but oof, that does not look familiar at all. Um, hmm, maybe we can come back up at it from the bottom. Many a charity for short. That could be a non-governmental organization. Small shaded valley. That could be a dell. We have old here. Word before or after age. Age old, old age. Yeah, that's right. Share with as a secret. I really think this should be let in on. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can build off of that. Block that no longer includes Great Britain for short. Yes, that's sadly the EU. Okay, commotion informally. Hmm, I don't know, is it hoopla or hubbub? None of those fit. <laughs> it's not gonna be hoo-ha again, is it? <laughs> I can't believe that they would put that in two days in a row. Let's see, start of a warning. Ooh, um, it feels like this is going to be talking about some kind of specific warning. Hmm. Honolulu, hello. That's got to be aloha. Okay, we've got a state starting with an A. Trite. Hmm. It's not corny. It's not cliche. Hmm. 
Modern dance move, is that a dab? Hmm, is that right? Maybe this is do not? That could be the start of a warning. Her name was blank. Copacabana lyric. <laughs> I think that's her name was Lola, right? Hmm. What in the world is this? Trite. We're gonna need more help, I guess. Oh my god, it is gonna be hoo-ha. That's so funny. I can't believe that. <laughs> All right, we get hoo-ha again. Maybe this is banal? Yeah. Production company behind the Hunger Games and the Saw films. It's looking like that's gonna be Lionsgate. Nice, okay, I wonder if we can get this next theme answer here. Former airline from Denver to Birmingham. Okay, we have Birmingham, Alabama, and Denver should be in Colorado, right? Um, so this is gonna be a former airline. I guess it's gonna be Continental? Yeah. Nice, okay, it's still about airplanes. That's so crazy. I wonder if we can make some progress in the center here. Lip blank. Hmm. I'm not sure what this should be. H to Homer? So they're looking for the Greek letter that looks like an H. That is going to be an Ada. Very nice. Director Bergman. Um, oh man, I always butcher this name. Uh, it's like Igmar? I'm not sure if that's right. I think I'm off there. Yeah, let's leave it blank. Let's not guess about that one. If you can believe it. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Hmm, what would be a good equivalent for this? It's not no lie. That doesn't quite fit. Hmm, drank noisily. Is it going to be chugged? Yeah, it has to start with no here, right? If you can believe it, hmm. Yeah, I definitely wasn't right here. What is this long across? Mounts Shasta, Rainier, and Hood. I guess those are all volcanoes? Nice, okay. Hmm, you know what? Maybe we were right here after all. This could be glugged instead of chugged, right? Uh, it's not Ingrid, it's gotta be like Ingmar, I think. I think I'm mixing up an actress and a director. Oh man, this is tough. I think this is an M. You know what we can do? We can look at the theme answer. That could probably confirm what letter this should be. We want it to be an M. Duration of air travel from Miami to Bangor. Okay, Bangor is in Maine, so that should be M-E. That gives us the M that we wanted. And it should start with Florida, right, for Miami? So that should be F-L. Duration of air travel. Hmm, it seems like this should be flight time, right? Nice, wow, they managed to make them all about air travel. That's very impressive. All right, let's try and build back up towards this tricky section here. Bosom buddies. Is it gonna be BFFs? I think that has to be right. Grab bag. Ooh, this is a tricky word. I think this is gonna be oleo. Yeah, that means kind of a mixture of things. Suburb of Boston. Ooh, I don't know if I know this one. Helsinki native, that's gonna be a Finn. Helsinki is in Finland. All my blank. Arthur Miller play. Uh, I don't know this one, but I'm gonna guess it's All My Sons. And then I'm still not gonna know this suburb. Hmm, I don't know about that double N. Bloodlines, that should be Veins, right? Is it not Flight Time? That's interesting. Hmm, what is this? Big crop in Iowa, that has to be corn. Uh, oh, it's got to be flying time. Man, that's tricky. Flight time worked very nicely there. Oh, you know what? This is going to be Lynn. I actually have a good friend that's from Lynn. That's like the one suburb that I would actually recognize. That's funny. Uh, classic Ravel composition. Ooh, this is very tricky. 
Um, this is going to be some kind of musical piece, and I know there's something called a bolero. That's very tricky for a Tuesday puzzle. Like a recently coined word or phrase. I guess that's going to be a neologism? That doesn't fit, though. Like a recently coined word. Okay, so it's looking for an adjective. It's got to start with neo. Maybe it's neologic? Uh, yeah, that would kind of be an adjective, right? Ooh, that's tricky. Ogle, that's going to be I in kind of an unpleasant way. Okay, lip blank is going to be lip sync. There we go. And this is Tinoans. Ooh, that is a very tricky bit of fill for a Tuesday. Oh my goodness. This is a very difficult corner down here. Smidgens, is that going to be Iotas? Yeah, I think it is Ingmar. I believe that's right. Uh, maybe this is no less, if you can believe it. Yeah, that looks good. In addition, that's got to be two. Molson Blank Brewing Company. I think that has to be Molson Coors. So this is Ido or who am I to question? Okay, there we go. Let's try and get this last corner. Secluded Narrow Valley. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna be Adele. I think this is gonna be a Glen. Um, hmm, is it a Glen? It could be, let's see if that's right. In addition, that could be also midterm or final. That should be a test. Deputy on the Dukes of Hazard. I never really watched this show. I want to say it's Enos, just based on maybe it having shown up in a puzzle earlier. Let's see if this is an O. Exxon Overseas. Yeah, that's SO. So this should be dots. They precede com, org, and edu. Yeah, those are URL enders. Excellent. All right, let's throw this S in there and see if that'll do it for us. Horse feathers. Oh no, we have something wrong. Let me see if I can track this down. Ah, I think I pinpointed the mistake here. This clue is much more casual than the let me that we ended up putting in here. I think this is going to be Lemmy Adam. It's much more informal. Yeah, we should have known that because they were kind of cluing us in with this them that has had the TH elided. Yeah, we definitely should have been a little more careful there. And that means that these are going to be the Minoans. And that is something that I actually recognize. Yeah, excellent. All right, let's throw this M in there and hope that that will, in fact, do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 25 minutes. That's definitely on the longer side for a Tuesday. Us having a mistake in Minoan definitely cost us a few minutes. But yeah, I think overall this was kind of a tricky puzzle in general. Oh, and look at this. We hit a 600 day streak today. This is the 600th Solve With Me video. Wow, that is quite a milestone. Well, I hope you all have been enjoying the videos this far. If you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. But yeah, let's discuss this state hopping theme. I was actually really impressed with this. They came up with four aviation related phrases that begin and end in two letter state abbreviations. That is super impressive. I just can't believe they managed to do this. Vapor trail goes from Virginia to Illinois. Landing gear goes from Louisiana to Arkansas. Continental goes from Colorado to Alabama. And flying time goes from Florida to Maine. That is a super cool theme. I think maybe in order to fit this theme though, they had to put in some trickier entries today. I actually think this might be the most brutal cross of the puzzle, even though it's not what we got stuck on. Yeah, bolero is kind of a tricky musical term, and if you don't know that there's a suburb of Boston called Lynn, you could be really struggling here with putting in a bunch of different consonants. Neologic was very tricky. Minoans, I mean, let me, this was kind of our mistake. We really should have known this one. And Minoans, 
as an entry isn't that bad, actually. Yeah, that's something I bet most people have heard of. But yeah, still, this puzzle played pretty difficult. Um, yeah, this kind of alternate spelling of Rachel. Yeah, I just wanted it to be E-L at the end. Oh, and I forgot to mention Olio, too. That's kind of a tricky word that's also crossing Bolero. Oof, gotta watch out for this southwest corner. Oh my goodness. But yeah, let's talk about some of the wordplay. There was a couple of really great wordplay clues today. I think this was my favorite. Moon? Share one seat? That is super funny. And I also really liked seeing on a log for where to find edible ants. Ants on a log was one of my favorite snacks as a kid, so this one was very nostalgic for me. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this High Flying Tuesday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.